that one ate a freeloader. All right, guys, third stop, NPFL. We are here on Pickwick Lake. I would say in Alabama, but we're not in Alabama. Last two tournaments have been in Alabama for the elites. But, uh, you know, this is going to be the scene of the week. We're on the TVA, Tennessee River, on in July. So, obviously, going to be a lot of offshore fishing, a lot of idling, a lot of scanning, looking for little unique places to kind of feel your limit, looking for a place that if you can get on it by yourself, you can really, you know, have a really good shot of doing well. So, going to be a lot about fishing schools this week. And hopefully at some point we find a couple little sneaky places we have to ourselves, because that's kind of how you differentiate yourself on a Tennessee River Lake. Like all these community hole places, everybody's going to have those. But if you have three or four little places where you can just pull up and get a bite or two throughout the day, that's going to be where you kind of separate yourself from the rest of the field. So we're going to cycle through baits and figure out three or four confidence baits we think we can catch them on. And then other than that, it's just gonna be about finding the location where the fish are actually sitting. So, gotta run waypoints in this one. And that's not my forte, not what I like doing. I like fishing around and kind of putting the pieces together. But in this one, you gotta run dots. And that's okay, cause we gonna make some dots this week. I'm just glad my first fish was on a bait caster. Hmm, two and three quarter probably. After Smith, that hook set felt pretty good. Dang, I lost him. The heck did I have? Had something. He ain't no keeper. He built good though. One dock, one bass. They like docks when it's hot. It's unbelievable how much bait's under that dock. That freaking mag daddy spot. <laughs> that sucker's built, dude. He don't weigh a lot, but he's built. Small one.
All right, day one of practice. So far, been a little grimy. Pickwick is a, you know a place gets a lot of pressure whenever the giant schools of white bass won't even bite. That's how you know they get fished for way too much. So we only found like three or four decent places, a couple good places, and then a couple like very decent places. But uh, getting on those is gonna be difficult. We need to start the tournament with probably 15 places where I think I can get a bite. And so far, we're not even a third of the way there. We got a couple more hours today and then two more full days. So been, been a little bit weird though. The conditions were good. The wind was blowing with the current. The I mean, current's moving decent. I mean, everything should be, they should be biting. But I think the pressure just getting to them, we haven't found the right kind of selection of baits. So a couple confidence baits and 10 or 15 good spots gonna be the deal for this one. All right, day two, Pickwick Lake. Yesterday we did the traditional ledge stuff, fish a little bit of brush. Um, underwhelming to say the least. Today we're going to try to fish some bait balls, fish deeper fish shallower just kind of make sure we're doing kind of the right thing because it felt like the standard community hole ledge stuff is not near good enough to do well in this tournament so really got to find something unique and i think we'll be good so we're gonna try to do a little bit of it all today hopefully we find a couple different ways to get a bite a good one. My goodness. That one ate a free leather. Big head shakes like a good one. Good small mouth. There's so many, there's so many. God, I don't know what I freaking got, but it's big. Almost like a big drum or something. Giant catfish. He better freaking break me off, probably. I mean, he's super wrapped up. He's coming off a little bit. There we go. He said, "Don't." He said, "I'm the catfish king this morning, didn't he?" <laughs> You saw them all come out of it?
Got a three pounder, three something. Probably enough of messing with them. There's like 30. <laughs> but they're in a bait ball, so what am I gonna do? But they just hope they're there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Got him under his gills and stuff. All right, so we have, we're slowly putting together a few of the puzzle pieces. Now, so far we definitely don't have this lake dialed in, but we kind of moved from those straight main river ledge types of places that I spent a lot of time, I, I spent a lot of time fishing those yesterday. And today I spent some time doing it, but not, not near as much as yesterday. And kind of seems like getting into the creeks a little bit more, there's more bait. Now I'm not catching them off kind of ledge type stuff, but just kind of, you know, fishing good looking places that I kind of isolated cover in these creeks seems to be a lot more productive. So kind of what we're looking for right now is just kind of nuanced little, cool little interesting places. Like it doesn't, in summer, there's a lot of times it's not as much about a pattern. Like it's not like you're running from this to this to this to this. A lot of times you just, they get on the structure that's around them that sets up how they want it to set up. So certain depth zones, you know, certain little areas in certain creeks is, is good. So the cover varies depending on where you go. So we're kind of mixing it up a lot and just kind of trying to get around where those fish are in the migration. And right now definitely seems like if you're around a major creek, it's a little bit better than out there on the main river. So it's kind of what we're doing right now. It can't be a bass, dude. It's, it ain't running like a bass. Big small mouth. Or a drum, one of the two. I think it's a drum. Nope. No, it's a smallie.
Good Smalley. That's a nice one. A little, bit, little bitty old mayor. We'll just let him throw himself back. A little gamana, gamak, gamakatsu weedless underspin hook in the three inch mayor. Money. All right, day two practice here on Lake Pickwick. More of the same in a lot of ways, and then found a couple things that are semi-promising so tomorrow we're going to try to find i guess we found like four good places the first day three or four good places today maybe we'll find three or four good places tomorrow we'll be good but still fishing tough you know like when you get around them they're good quality man it's hard to be around them hard to get them to bite